update two on what is now Typhoon Matmo with winds of 75 miles per hour and a pressure of 974 millibars. Its position is 11.7 degrees north, 130.6 degrees east as of 2 p.m. UTC on July the 19th. And the storm is expected to continue to intensify gradually um, and could attain Category 3 status as it approaches Taiwan. Um, and that was before it intensified to a Category 1 storm. It perhaps may become even stronger now that it is already a typhoon. Uh, but Taiwan definitely should be watching out for this storm. Could strike as a Category 3 typhoon. And China behind it as well may also receive typhoon conditions. The eastern coast of the Philippines will get a bit of a glancing blow from the storm. Probably won't be too severe, though there may be some heavy rainfall occurring um, along the eastern coast of the Philippines. Southern Japan, uh, the Japanese islands, should also be watching out for this storm as well in case it does track more northwards. Sea surface temperatures remain very conducive for the storm right now, 30 to 31 degrees Celsius, um, and you can see a little bit of a cooler pocket towards its north. That's where Neoguri was last week, um, still recovering the sea surface temperatures from that. Um, in terms of wind shear, remaining fairly low in the immediate path of the storm, though there is a little area that is rising ahead of it to the east of the Philippines, but um, wind, shear, wind shear low to moderate over the next few days. And in terms of water vapour, there's a dry area of air um, over the Mariana Islands, but where the storm is right now and in its uh, track forecast, it's not likely to be an issue dry air for the storm. The computer models, the CMC first of all, and you can see here, uh, that takes the storm towards the north, stalling over the uh, southwesternmost Japanese islands uh, before moving towards Taiwan and China. Uh, so a little bit of a longer, a bit of a detour for the CMC with another typhoon forming behind there. And the GFS model is more straightforward, a landfall in central Taiwan and then making landfall again in China behind that with another storm forming as well um, in the next few days uh, near Guam. So let's take a look at the latest uh, satellite imagery. You can see the um, satellite imagery here in the past few hours. Uh, the storms have been moving towards the northwest slightly. And you can see over the Philippines, uh, the islands of Samar and later in particular are going to be um, uh, are under a bit of rainfall at the moment. Nothing too severe by the looks of things, though. Of course, after Typhoon Ramesson uh, this week, uh, it could cause some flooding um, in that area, as well as northern Mindanao as well. But most of the rain has, fall, has gone away from there now. Uh, but the most of the storm remains out to sea. You can just about see perhaps a bit of an eye wall forming in those latest imagery here on this um, imagery here. Um, as it moves towards the northwest, we'll probably see an eye developing. Very intense thunderstorms towards the center of the storm and indeed winds of 75 miles per hour gusting to above that. As of July the 19th at 2 p.m. UTC, Wally is no more in the Central Pacific. That is now a remnant low. Um, Invest 97S is still going in the Southern Hemisphere, um, as is Ramesson just about, but that will dissipate very soon. And of course, we have Matmo and Invest 96W in the Western Pacific. It is the 16th storm to become a typhoon or equivalent, 74 mile per hour winds. Uh, that makes it a category one storm on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. The 39th tropical storm to form and could possibly become the 10th to reach category three intensity with winds of 115 miles per hour or higher. Let's hope not for the sake of Taiwan, China and perhaps Japan if the CMC gets its way. Um, you can stay up to date on Force 13 with any of its six outlets. The website force13.com will keep you most up to date with all the goings on around the world tropics wise. Um, the video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, will keep you updated regularly with, with all the storms going on. Just search Force 13 on there. You're probably watching one of those right now. And of course, the social pages, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 on there, at Force 13 on Twitter. They will likely keep you updated um, at intermediate points in between videos as well. And of course, you can speak to me personally as ever on Skype. Just add Full 13 for tropical weather chat and discussion and any questions that you may have as well. I will try my best to answer them. Um, that's all for this update. The next update on Matmo will follow in 12 hours time, 2am UTC on July 20th. That's late morning local time. <laughs>